We have finally gotten to the week of opening day for the Double Days on Friday, June 15th. Auburn hosting Batavia. We've got another behind the stash today. It's a very special one for me and our media team here. It is Andy Collier, our assistant GM in charge of everything. How are you, brother? I'm great, Drew. <laughs> I'm uh, kind of excited, man. I've been yeah. seeing everybody else's go through and... Uh, my time's up. Uh -huh. It's good, man. Let's do it. So you've only been uh, AGM for a couple of years here, but you've been involved with the team for a long time, right? Yeah. So I started uh, when I was a sophomore in high school, the summer of my sophomore, after my sophomore year. Uh, and I worked here for about six years through high school and college, just something fun to do in the summertime. And uh, yeah, so I had a lot of experience doing that, doing literally every other job in the, in the ballpark. And then... Uh, when the time was right for me to, to become a management position, it, uh, it was an easy transition because I already knew how to do all that stuff and it was easy to kind of train some of the people to do what they needed to do, you know? Yeah, so. so You're kind of overseeing all this stuff as we're televising these 38 games. Yeah. You're kind of the czar in charge of everything. <laughs> what gets you stoked about televising these games? Well, it's, you know, being a kid from Auburn, I've known what Falcon Park has been. I, I remember the old ballpark and it was a dump and – not a lot of frills, even all the way up until last year when we got here. It's a it's a great ballpark to watch a ball game, but there's so much potential. So now we're kind of tapping into that potential a little bit, and uh, we're we're very blessed to have such amazing talent around us that um, that can take us to that next level. But also the support of the town, so the the city, the the city of Auburn. It's been it's been tremendous, and, and to kind of see this all kind of starting to come to fruition is really humbling and, and neat to see it because I know the beginnings of this place, you know. So. so you might be wondering why we're at a restaurant right now instead of Falcon Park. We are here at Costa Sports Bar in Auburn, and the reason we're doing this for Andy is because you love food about as much as anyone I've ever met. So my question for you is if I could snap my fingers and put any food right there in front of you, what are you choosing? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so most people will uh, eat to live. I, I think I live to eat. So, um, man, I, I'm a big wings guy. Um, I got a, my, my buddy, and uh, I went to school out in Brockport. He's got a restaurant out there. A little shout-out to my boy Jimmy Z. His garbage plate would probably be what I would want because I, I go through cravings. Every once in a while, I'll be like, man, I could really go for a Jimmy plate right now, and uh, it's it's awesome. No knock on any, you know, my my wife's cooking or my my mom's cooking or anything. They they're both really really good at what they do, but nothing that Jimmy plate, man, it's it's where it's at. For Way sure. to be diplomatic there at the end. Yeah. Well, hey, I I I know where the butter's breaded, if you know what I mean. So or the 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 bread is buttered, I should say, huh? Now, not only do you love food, but you love pop culture. I mean, you are like a sponge for this pop culture stuff. Yeah, so we're going rapid fire. We're sure. going favorite show, Ooh. favorite movie, favorite singer or artist. All three rapid fire. Give them to okay. Me. Favorite show of all time? Um, I would have to say How I Met Your Mother. What up? <laughs> Freeze frame high five. <laughs> that was a show that I loved watching with my wife. It was just... Just it, it linked together. It just it was amazing. I just love the humor. It was uh, very relatable too. Uh, favorite movie of all time, Tommy Boy. It's got to be. Uh, we don't take no prisoners. We don't take no for an answer. Oh yeah, we don't take no for an answer. Yeah. We don't take no for an answer. We don't take no. No. Okie dokie. No. Gotcha. Thanks. Mm -mm. Terrific. Thanks for your time. Seen it, I mean, drives my parents nuts. But I've probably seen it like 200 times. And uh -huh. I quote it often, as you guys see quite a bit. And favorite artist, musician, uh, Dave Matthews is up there. I got a lot of other ones. I love, El I love Billy Joel, Elton John, those guys like that. Anybody, uh, those iconic 80s, you know, uh, Band, artists like that. It just I, I love that stuff, and I'll go see anybody really. So. All right. So as a journalist, I feel like it is my duty to ask you about the wing eating contest you and Stoddard had uh, last year because uh, yes. we let him comment on it. Uh -huh. So I want your comment on it. Well, yeah. So it was the end of the year. It was literally the day after the last game of the season, and there was a little bit of food left over. So we decided. I don't know how it kind of came about, but we. Uh, said, let's have a little wing eating contest. And instead of doing it on time, it was based on quantity. Uh -huh. So um, through the whole sitting, uh, I 
we technically ate the same amount of wings, okay. but I had one massive jumbo wing that that the judges deemed as a double. So I, I sneak away with a, a technicality victory, and uh, then at the end of the, the end of the whole story, there uh, they they didn't think that we would drink the the the, uh, the remnants and mm-hmm. prove them wrong. So you know. <laughs> It I'm is. glad I get to watch that video again oh, when we put this together. Well, team. hey, you know, not necessarily one of my proudest moments, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of who I am a little uh, bit, you know. Yeah. I'm, don't tell me not to do something because I'm going to do it, you know. Yeah. That's pretty much how it goes. So. so, speaking of who you are, we'll get you out of here on this. You have a zeal for life, unlike anyone I've really ever met. You're like one of the happiest guys I know. So I got to ask you, where does that come from? Why are you so positive all the time? Um, honestly, it's I think it's a balance of family life. Yeah. Um, although my wife may think otherwise sometimes. <laughs> uh, I love you, honey, big time. Uh, it's uh, honestly, I have that. I, I, I have a, a different perspective, I think. I I know what my priorities are, and I think when you have those priorities in place, happiness just kind of comes along with it. So, you know, family first, you know, the business is right there behind it. I, I wouldn't want to do anything else but hang out with my kids and my my wife, go out somewhere just having fun and, um, you know, making a memory of it with whoever I am. You know, yeah. I want to make it special for you know, if it's hanging with you or anybody else, really, it's just, you know, I want it to be just something fun, something different, because there's yeah. no reason to, you know, I, the whole life is short thing. It's kind of, yeah, who I am. And yeah. just there's always something to do. There's always something fun, and um, I'm always up for it. So. All right, well, if you're a Double Days fan, you probably know this guy already because he's everywhere. If you don't, at Falcon Park, come and say what's up to Andy because I promise you will not regret it. Thanks, buddy. You got it, man. June 15th, just <laughs> coming up. Friday, baby. Be there.